everyone, I just saw a recipe online for bacon wrapped venison jalapeno poppers. And uh, I have all the stuff in the house and I wanted to try it out and I may as well film it so you can see how that goes. Uh, ingredients are pretty easy. So I have, these are two packs of stewing venison. So it's already cut up into chunks. Um, nice and convenient, should be pretty easy. Obviously bacon, brick of cream cheese, jalapenos, and then toothpicks just to help keep everything together. All right, well, I'm gonna start prepping this stuff. I just opened this pack of stewing, stewing venison, and uh, I just wanna make a comment. So this is from a deer that I shot in November, 2022, November 16th, 2022. And on opening the pack, you can just, you can smell right away that it's deer. That sounds crazy. Obviously it's deer. Obviously you're gonna smell it. Uh, what I mean is that I shot this deer right in the prime of the rut. So in my mind, he was, he already lost a bunch of his uh, body weight, like fat. He burned off a bunch of fat chasing does and his hormones were through the roof at that time. So I don't know, maybe just my opinion, but I feel like that has, that definitely plays a factor in the, in the uh, gaminess flavor, if you will, of deer. Because the deer I shot last year, I shot October 10th, just started to get a hormonal and he was uh he was big he was a big boy so if there were any hormones in there they were number one a lot less and number two very diluted um yeah i i think that plays a factor so keep that in mind when you're cooking with certain well when you're cooking with deer the time of shooting and also how it dies like depending on how good your shot was can all play factors into um, the ultimate, like the end, the flavor. One more comment, uh, a cool fact, and this is just a ballpark number, but I read this somewhere, so I thought I would share it. Um, so humans, their testosterone peaks in mid to late teens. And if you're a guy, you can imagine that's pretty high. Now imagine a deer during the rut, the rut is breeding season, they can experience up to three times that hormone value in that time of year, like early to mid November in Ontario anyway, uh, which is just a wild thing to think about. So anyways, cool fact. Okay, so for prepping this, obviously you need some jalapenos. Uh, I'm not gonna do too much here. This is just something I wanna try out. So obviously cut the top off, cut it in half. Some people will cut that end off. You know what, let's do that, there we go. Open that up and then get all the middle stuff out, especially the seeds. That's where the heat is. So I don't know. It's up to you. If you really like these spicy, leave some seeds, set them aside, sprinkle them on over. I don't know, whatever you want to do to include them, but we're going to take them out. You're going to want to cut the bacon into roughly thirds. So eh, maybe there and there. Yeah, okay. This is not super high quality bacon. <clears throat> Let's get a better knife for that too. That's better. All right, well, we've got our ingredients kind of prepped. I'll do the first one here, and then I'll do a time lapse here shortly for uh, making the rest. So I think you just kind of, I've never actually made poppers before at all. So I'm guessing, okay, dab of cream cheese, a good piece of venison there. Grab a piece of, ah, we'll get this one. That's a good one. Piece of bacon. Wrap it right around. You know what, for good measure, let's do it both ways. And then to hold that all together, 
toothpick right through the middle. That looks all right. All right, well now I'm gonna do that about 50 more times. And, uh, and then when I'm done, they'll all be on this pan. I'll give them a light dusting of Cajun uh, seasoning, and then we'll throw them in the smoker for a little bit. Well, there they are, they're going in. And that's uh, applewood, by the way, just a little cabinet smoker. So they're gonna go in there for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes just to get the smoke flavor at 225. And then I'm gonna move into the barbecue. All right, 10 minute mark, let's see how they look. Oh man, that looks pretty good. All right, those are transferred over. We're gonna do, we're gonna blast them on the barbecue for about five to seven minutes, just to make sure they're uh, thoroughly cooked. All right, there is the final product. And uh, I've eaten a lot of good food in my life. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the best. That's a highly recommend. Yeah, and really, really easy. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I'm gonna enjoy this food. All right, until next time, thanks.